a lot like um, Buddy Mercury. Yeah, yeah. very like showy. Like, uh, yeah. like Elton John. Too. No, I was gonna say Elton John. Yeah. That's what I was gonna say. Even his voice has some kind of little similar. Prince is yeah. like Prince. Mm-hmm. Yeah. yeah, they're very flamboyant. Yes. Yeah. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to another smoking session. I am, as always, Crazy Rocky here with Jason Nova. Today we're going to be watching David Bowie's Ziggy Stardust. Uh, we did another David Bowie reaction recently, and it was quite enjoyable, and you guys seemed to like it, so we figured we would bring uh, a reaction to his older music as we did his last song, Lazarus, uh, or his last, you know, album tra- title track, Lazarus. So uh, definitely, if there's any other David Bowie tracks that you'd like us to react to, let us know. But without further ado, let's hop into Ziggy Stardust. Which is the, I'm pretty sure, the title track of one of his oldest albums that he popped up. Very showy, like Elton John. No, I was gonna say Elton John. Yeah. That's what I was gonna say. Even his voice has some kind of little similar. Prince is yeah. like Prince. Mm-hmm. Yeah. yeah, they're very flamboyant. Yes, yeah. the bright word. Yeah. Charismatic. Yeah, very charismatic, very flamboyant. Like when you see him in like uh, various movies, he just like has long hair and all. I can say like I can see how his voice would be very like. You'd have to, like, a customized like, get used to it, get used to it, you know what I mean? Like, like low way. Yeah, yeah, it's, like, a little creaky and a little, like, whiny a little bit, but it's not a bad thing, necessarily. It's just, like, an fun taste, that's the problem. If you're not used to it. Why is that? All right, so um, overall, the album, uh, for anybody that isn't aware, uh, is just basically about this alien who came from Mars, who is like uh, taken by, I don't remember if it was the government or what it was, but and put it into this band where he was meant to be the perfect pop star, the perfect rock star, and like go out there and be a perfect role model and like do all this stuff, and it led to his depression and not knowing his place in the world, and feeling like he was just thrown into the mix of all this without really understanding it, which is why it's like he's talking about Ziggy with his ego and Ziggy play guitar because he was this, you know, like alien, essentially another worldly being that was thrown into this other world and other species and had to 
deal with it and be the perfect one of them because he was like the top of the block board. That's league. why he dressed like the mm -hmm. like, yeah okay. exactly. That's why he looks like yeah. I never knew. Out I never the knew the story here. why he did that. Yeah, yeah, like if it just came, if he just did it as random or it was connected mm -hmm. to this. obviously it was connected to the not. What do they call that? The pretty boy era. What do they call that? Of rock. Glam rock. The glam rock era. Yeah. It, it's obviously partially by by that. But yeah, for this and that is what gave him his initial like thing of that is he was like supposed to be otherworldly and like this alien type thing. And so at the beginning of the song, his voice hit me a little weird because I'm not used to David Bowie's voice. I haven't heard a lot of David Bowie music. Yeah. So his voice hit me a little off. But, you know, it, it's, I can definitely see it being uh, in a acquired taste of, like, the more you listen to it, the more you probably enjoy it. It's almost like yeah. Bob Dylan a little bit in a way, too. Where it's I like, can't stand Bob Dylan's yeah, I voice. Yeah, necess I don't like Bob Dylan's voice, but it's like Bob Dylan where I feel like his voice is probably very divisive, where, like, certain people are like, I love the style of it, and other people are like, nah, it's not for me. Um, but overall, like, I can tell that the lyrical content is, you know, of course, somewhat there. He's trying to portray a message. And the, the backing, the, the instrumental is very great. Like, I enjoy it. It sounds very organic, very natural. Obviously, because this is an older song, it's it's not digital at all. So it's very just, it sounds very nice to the ear as if you're listening to it in, like, a concert by just people playing on guitars yeah. and shit. He's trying to, it's a story he's trying to tell. To yeah, me. it's a story he's trying to tell. And even though maybe, for me, the voice isn't the best, I still get the appeal like mm. it's definitely quite enjoyable and so yeah overall that that's my main take on it so it's not necessarily something i would casually listen to but i get the appeal and i like the story he's trying to tell mm -hmm. but yeah, yeah. What do you think? oh it's a really good I, it's a great track yeah david bowley's got one of those voices yeah like you said it's just it, it takes time to get used to mm -hmm. so you try to just focus more on the words as you're getting used to the sound yeah and then um, over time it'll just be more natural to your ear to hear yeah but that's the thing, like, if you have a voice like that, you really have to invest a lot of times in the words you're saying. Because yeah. that's kind of how people adjust to your sound. Exactly. Is, yeah, but if the words are garbage, then nobody's going to care. Yeah, no, because you can put up, even if your voice is a little different, you can put up with it because the words are so meaningful and you relate to them so much. But yeah, if you have both things going for you, you have, like, an off voice that people don't necessarily hit right, and the lyrics are good, yeah, you're yeah. not going to like, go there. Lil Wayne, for me, like, when I first heard Lil Wayne, I'm like, oh, this voice is not really... Yeah. But then I'm just like, over time, okay, lit, but it, yeah. his bars, like, the metaphors, he came up with, like, ooh, okay, I like yeah. Lil Wayne now. Like, yeah, I, I, that's kind of what David Bowie is. I got to listen to the words more than yeah. I listen to the voice. Totally agree. All right, yeah, well, anyway, thank you guys for joining us during this smoking session. If you did enjoy, please press that like and subscribe button for more content like this in the future. We have a reaction to David Bowie's Lazarus over on the channel if you'd like to go watch that. Besides that, you can uh, leave us anything else you want us to react to in the comments down below. In the description, we have my YouTube channel where I post commentary videos and my music, as well as our Twitch channel where we do live album listening logs, movie watch logs, and just chat with you guys and whatnot. Uh, besides that, uh, thank you guys so much for all the love, all the support, all the suggestions, all the subs. We're on our way to a thousand subscribers and so we're hoping to get 500 by the end of the year uh beyond that uh we are uh, going to well we've made our porn hub debut and not as porn people doing it porn ourselves no essentially yeah. uh what we're doing is we're <laughs> reacting to stuff over on Pornhub because they have a bit more lax copyright system over there so you must be 18 plus but if you are 18 or above over there we are uh you know again we have to cut down the videos on here because the copyright bots are so strict but since we are in fair use uh, we do post it over there there's some of it is going to be totally non-sexually explicit but some of it we are going to review porn and we're going to review other adult content totally uncensored so uh, if you'd like to participate in that as well as we have the porn centric podcast which is going to be going up over there once a week we're going to be uh, discussing porn porn news reacting to funny porn and all sorts of stuff and just talking about anything we feel like just totally uncensored and being totally ourselves so yeah if you'd like to follow us over there definitely go do that as well we're going to start an only fans where we post exclusive uh, reaction content as well as the again porn not podcast. porn yeah not porn we're not doing <laughs> porn we can't make that clear enough but it's going to be two dollars <laughs> Per month, and we're gonna have extra content each week of reactions. And you don't have to be stuff. 18 to sign up for our OnlyFans. Like, uh, well, that, no, because, well, we're not gonna yes, have because we're gonna have extra porn centric podcasts. Okay, well then you need to be 18. So you do need to be 18. <laughs> we are in general smoking sessions is an yeah. adult brand. It's yeah. called smoking like sessions. Howard Stern was an adult brand. Exactly. Smoking sessions. Yeah. yeah, and we don't give a fuck. We're not here to fucking get as many advertisers as possible. We're here to entertain the people. 
Yeah. All right. So if you guys want to participate in that, definitely go give us a, a follow. Links are all going to be in the description below for all that information. And uh, besides that, is there anything else that I want to drop out there? Uh, thank you so much for watching. And more importantly, thank you for joining us during the smoking session. I stay sound in my head to the depths of